Bizarre things found in the deep sea. Number 12, tunicates. This ghostly looking tube looks like some strange long creature, when in fact, this is composed of a bunch of smaller organisms called tunicates or sea salps. They all link up and feed and move as a single mass by jetting water through their bodies. Colonies comprised of these animals can grow to be up to 15 feet in length. Number 11, a new catfish. This new species of armored catfish happens to come from the Garupi River drainage that is located in Brazil. The scientific name is Picoltia gridoi and can be distinguished by its puckered lips, the bristles sticking out of its back, and its large dark eyes. The typical color pattern for this species is described as being a reddish brown. This species of catfish is relatively small and only grows to be up to roughly three inches in length. It was dubbed as Greedo, named after the Star Wars bounty hunter because of the strikingly similar appearance that the two share. Number 10, a new anglerfish. Discovered sometime last year, this new type of anglerfish that looks peculiar happens to live in the pitch black area of the ocean's depths that has been given the nickname the Midnight Zone. Scientists explain the appearance of the new anglerfish species in a study that was published in the Copia, a journal that is devoted to fieldwork around amphibians, reptiles, and fish. Its overall look is much different when compared to those of other previously discovered anglers that are normally more round and fat. Number 9. Deep Sea Sponge This sea sponge was found during a month-long expedition that took place from July to August of last year. The two Hawaiian scientists, Daniel Wagner and Christopher Kelly, who discovered the sea sponge, described it as being the size of a minivan. The animal was at a depth of 7,000 feet inside of the Papahana Umokuakea Marine National Monument, which is roughly 140,000 square miles of ocean that is a protected U.S. national monument. The sponge measures in at being roughly 11 feet long, 6 feet high, and almost 5 feet in width. Number 8. A new deep sea worm species. Thought to only be one species of deep sea worm alive, there are now five known species that have been classified and labeled into the genus Xenoturbella. The first species was discovered way back in 1950, and it's been nearly six decades since that finding. It's taken nearly 12 years, but back in 2015, biologists managed to find the four new species of worms in several locations near the coasts of California and Mexico's waters. The bilaterally symmetrical animals are described as having only one opening, that is their mouth, along with no eyes, kidneys, brain, gills, or anus. Their diet consists of bivalve mollusks and clams. <laughs> Number 7. Dendrogramma enigmatica. This new species of animal was recently discovered last year on the ocean floor, measuring at a depth of around 3,200 feet just near Point Hicks, Victoria. Dendrogramma enigmatica, along with a second new species, D. discoids, happen to be multicellular animals with their appearance closely resembling that of mushrooms. Their mouths are located near the stem-looking part of their bodies, and then there's the opposite end that's flattened like a disc. These animals are believed to belong to the same phylum as jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. However, they could also be from the same phylum as comb jellies, or could potentially belong to a whole new phylum themselves. No one knows for sure yet because suitable DNA is needed for further analysis. Dendrogramma enigmatica only grow to be about 8 millimeters in length, and their cap is measured at around 11 millimeters wide. Number 6. A new pufferfish. Researchers have managed to recently figure out the answer to a 20-year-old mystery under the ocean while discovering a new fish. There were these intricate circles with geometric designs that were being created and no one had any logical reason as to how these designs were being made. These underwater crop circles are located on the seafloor by the coast of Amami Oshima Island. Turns out the circles aren't actually circles, but really they're nests with double edges that are made by this new species of pufferfish as a way to protect their eggs from harsh ocean currents and maybe even predators as well. The males are the ones who construct the nest by swimming and wriggling back and forth in the sand in order to attract a female during mating season. Yoji Okata was the first to witness this and soon after, a team of ichthyologists went out on an expedition along with a TV crew to capture the whole thing on film. <laughs> 
Number 5. A New Sea Slug This new species of sea slug was discovered last year near the Japanese islands and measures in at about an inch long give or take. The slug is considered as a missing link between sea slugs that feast on hydroids and those that happen to feed on corals. The photogenic gastropods' elegant lines and beautifully bright coloration make them wondrous beauties of the deep. The newly identified slug, which when photographed is captured in the shades of blue, red, and gold, also helps in having a better knowledge of the dawning of an unusual symbiosis in other species in the same genus. An underwater playground. What was once a transporter airplane that flew the skies during the Second World War now lies at the bottom of the ocean as a relic, but that's just how we see it. The skeleton of the airplane has merged with the ocean's delicate ecosystem and now serves as a home to tropical fish, shrimps, and other types of sea creatures. The Douglas Dakota DC-3 was once used by the Turkish and was deliberately sent to the bottom of the ocean at 21 meters way back in July of 2009 in order to create a sort of underwater playground for divers from all over. An underwater photographer named Andrei Nekrasov dived down to the wreckage with a group of other divers and stated that the plane was unusual and beautiful and being in great condition. Many of the divers had trouble reaching the airplane and it took them various tries to reach it. They needed to resurface for air every two minutes. Number 3. A Deep Sea Graveyard Between the years of 2008 and 2010, there were four large carcasses of marine creatures discovered on the ocean floor. These large animals were later identified as being the bodies of one whale shark and three rays. Footage recorded from ROVs or remotely operated vehicles were able to show the interesting inner workings of how these decaying corpses of fallen animals can serve as complex ecosystems towards populations of smaller creatures and maybe even able to sustain them. They reported around 50 scavenging fish near each of the carcasses while also witnessing eel pouts waiting for smaller scavengers to come by and then consume them. Number 2. An alien-like jellyfish This otherworldly looking creature was discovered back in April of this year just near the Mariana Trench that is located in between Japan and the Philippines deep within the Pacific Ocean on the Enigma Seamount. The jellyfish was seen 2.3 miles just below the surface of the ocean by the NOAA Office of Ocean Exploration and Research. It can be seen as having two sets of tentacles, one being much larger and the other being shorter. <laughs> Number 1. The Ghost Octopus This interesting little octopod was discovered earlier this year back in March. The Ghost Octopus is believed to be the deepest dwelling octopod that doesn't have any fins, unlike other species of deep dwelling octopods, such as the Dumbo Octopus. The discovery of this new creature took place not too far from where the Hawaiian archipelago is located. Pale in color due to the lack of pigment because it lives in the dark depths, the ghost octopus doesn't show much muscle definition like other octopi. Instead, it appears rather gelatinous in form. Not much else is known about these creatures as they're still relatively new.